Hello, this is Eugenia with Radiant Warrior Living. Uh, I help professional women to connect to who they are and find their voice. I'm here today uh, to talk about the power of words. I find that our words is something that obviously we use every day in our life, in our work, in um, our relationships and communication with others, uh, in everything that we do. Really, our words is how we communicate with this world and with everything uh, outside of us and inside of us as well. We all have that inside voice that sometimes shows up and uh, holds us back from things and tries to protect us. So uh, the words is something that is, or, or, you know, that is expressed um, through you know, uh, uh, different mediums, but the words is something that as a part of our everyday life. And I want to bring your attention to the power of words in our life. And that's why I find uh, this video was very uh, inspiring and very timely for myself and maybe for anyone who will be watching because uh, we can change our reality and our life uh, by changing the words we use because our words is our thoughts, our thoughts and our words are truly connected to our reality. So uh, if uh, you know you have something in your life that maybe you are looking to change and are not happy about or if you're looking to take your life to the next level, to a different level, to a different place and you're craving more adventure, you're craving more change, look at the words that you use. I want to talk about uh, the verbs that we use and how we relate to those verbs in our life. So for example, uh, very often we say, you know, I can't, uh, I'm not able to, um, I have to, I should. All of these verbs, uh, verbs if you think about it, uh, they all create a certain feeling. When I say those words, there's a heaviness that comes with this. It shows me or creates this feeling of me not being able to choose my reality, but to sort of be obligated to do something. So there's definitely an energy of heaviness that is attached to the words that I've just talked about. And they're the words that totally disempower me. Uh, they're the words that do not give me that uplifting feeling of trying something or wanting to move forward or wanting to uh, be good at something, it's something that's that's connected to obligation, it's something that's connected to sort of having to push through something. How about uh, if um, those words are replaced with the words that are way more empowering, right? The words that affirm your life, life, your, your being, your presence in this world. And these are the words of, you know, I have, I know, I am. I live, I love, I want to, I'm able to, I can. If you think about it, you know, my back is straightening up when I talk about those words. They are the words that I feel energetically propel me forward. And they create this feeling within me of wanting, of, of being uplifted, of, of energetic movement. So, you know, the verbs that we use on a day-to-day -day basis can really create uh, the reality of uh, moving forward and seeing the possibilities uh, instead of kind of going through the motions and feeling that we ought to. I also find that uh, a lot of us use the words um, I have to and I should. I started noticing those words in my own language uh, not too long ago. Uh, or actually quite a while ago, and I started replacing those words because the word I have to has created such a feeling of heaviness and obligation in me that I felt like something within me was rebelling having to, to do something that I didn't want to do. So I started replacing uh, that word with I get to. So when I say I get to, it's a totally different feeling. It's a feeling of, I have a choice when I'm doing something. Instead of, I have to do something, I get to do this. 
I am alive, I'm grateful to be alive, and I get to do this. I get to do this for somebody. It's not an obligation. I'm not pushing myself to do it. I have a choice of doing it, but I'm fortunate to be here and to be doing it. So if you can notice the reframing uh, in using a different word, it, it re reminds me of the fact that, you know, I am grateful to be human, I'm grateful to be alive, I'm grateful to be here, and I get a choice to do this. So it helps me reframe and it helps me create a very different perspective for my everyday life and for what I have to do or what I am doing um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you think of the words that you use for when you're facing something, uh, it it's, needs to be a very important um, point of using the words that create the reality of being uplifted and moving forward, that open up something within you, uh, that create something that will inspire you to move forward. So what are the inspiring words? What is the inspiring word of the day for you? And sometimes the words that we use and the words that we wake up with uh, and watching our vocabulary, our language and how we talk to ourselves will open up so many possibilities. So what I've decided is to live with the word of the day. When you wake up in the morning, think of a word that will inspire the creative feeling. Um, and think about the, um, the word that might create that possibility, you know, something creative, something so uplifting. So when I woke up this morning, you know, you, your head starts racing and you think about, okay, all of the things that you need to do and that you have to do. Again, those words, you know, those verbs that the need to do and have to do. So what do you get to do this morning or what do you get to do today? And the word that came to me was festive. You know, looking outside, it's fall. There's so many different colors and the sun is shining. It's, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful day. And of course, I feel the gratitude for that, but it's being able to, to feel the, uh, you know, the inspiration that this brings. So the word, the word festive makes me feel uplifted. It makes me feel that I can be alive. I can be joyful. I can feel the colors inspiring me to be festive, to be happy, to be joyful. And I don't need a reason to be joyful. I can remind myself of that word that I've chosen as my word of the day and bring up that feeling of festive, of festivities, of celebrations, of being joyful and celebrating life just because I am alive. So a little exercise for you if, if you wanna try this is think of a word of the day when you wake up, especially when your head starts racing. Bring yourself back to that place that reminds you of the fact that you're human and the fact that you're here, you're breathing of the simple things. It will bring you back to the start and maybe will calm you down or at least will help you to not pr be propelled into the day right away but maybe be a little bit more mindful of what you're doing first thing in the morning and choose the word for the day choose the word that you want to use uh, and to remind you of how beautiful and how precious life is and maybe throughout the day if you think of that word it will allow you to come back to that place you know, festive or the word inspiration or the word I get to, I get to do this, that will remind you that you always have a choice. I find when I have conversations uh, with a lot of my clients and people around me, I have been noticing uh, their language and I find the language can be either uh, very expanding and powerful or it can be very limiting and almost like it creates blockages and stops you from moving forward. So when you think of uh, the words that you use, uh, I've noticed uh, in conversations when people say, you know, I have no choice. You know, when I hear this, you know, the word no and, and, and choice, it creates this feeling of stagnation. It creates a feeling of being restricted. So notice what words or phrases you use uh, when you think of a situation, especially a difficult situation in your life. And remind yourself that the words that you use will continue creating that reality for you. So if you're able to reframe that and say, you know, it might be a difficult situation, but I have a choice. 
there is a choice, there's always a solution. You know, and see what happens because being able to create uh, a different frame, a different perspective will allow you to see possibilities. Uh, and you know, practicing this in your life and being aware of the language that you use and noticing it is the first step towards creating a different reality. I find that the word I can't um, um, uh, you know, I'm just reading uh, the comments uh, from my daughter. Um, thank you, Xenjika. I really appreciate it and love you very much. Um, um, and so I, I really appreciate it, Xenjika. Love you too. Uh, I, I feel that, uh, you know, that reality and, you know, Xenjika, you made my day. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm so grateful you've been, you've been watching. Um, the reality of our words does create the re reality of our life. So when you wake up in the morning, uh, you can reframe uh, what you're thinking and, and use different words, uh, different words and, and find the word of the day to help you keep uh, your frame of mind, keep, you, uh, keep your mindset in a place that allows you to focus and allows you to remind yourself of how precious life is and who you are. You know, and sometimes even finding the word to describe yourself, to remind yourself of your gifts and talents is very important. You know, I notice uh, very often um, my friends and women in my life um, are using a lot of self-deprecating humor and using words to call themselves different names. And I find that as much as it can be really funny and, you know, sarcasm and, and self-deprecating humor can create a certain sense of maybe, you know, being able to laugh at yourself. But notice if you put yourself down too much, if that self-deprecating humor is actually reminding you of the things that you don't like about yourself, then maybe that's not what you should be doing. Being sarcastic is one thing and seeing humor in situations, but being um, very uh, kind of humiliating to yourself and putting yourself down is not okay. So, you know, the words that you use, if for example, you say, you know, I'm so, like, I'm such a fool or, you know, I'm so stupid, you know, those words are something that will put you down and will bring out a negative feeling within you, even though you might not notice it right away. So I recommend if you want to laugh at yourself, laugh at the situation, but don't call yourself a name. Don't call yourself something that will take you down and make you feel like you're uh, less than. So, you know, watching the different names that you give to yourself and, and again, being able to laugh at a situation that you put yourself in or that you ended up in is one thing, but creating labels uh, for yourself that will bring up a feeling of feeling less than and not enough is, is not a way to go forward to feel uplifted and inspired. So I suggest uh, you pay attention to you know, what you do in situations where, you know, you maybe make a mistake or you feel like, you know, there's a flaw. What happens? Do you, uh, you know, do you kind of take yourself down? Do you call yourself names? Do you, you know, what is that inner voice saying to yourself? And noticing how you speak to yourself, I find is one of the key uh, ways to feel and, and live your life because that inner voice has been around forever and it will stay with you forever. And it's called an inner critic for a reason. It's the voice that is always there nudging you uh, and telling you how you know, you're not good enough and every time you mess up, it potentially speaks up and says something to you. So noticing that inner voice and being able to live with that inner voice without letting it overtake your life uh, is very important and understanding that that voice is there for a reason it's been there to protect you since you were very very young at the same time when that voice shows up and it blocks you from moving forward it blocks you from living your full potential and enjoying your life and, and being fully you then that voice becomes a big burden so making friends with the voice and acknowledging it and th saying thank you very much appreciate it but right now, you know, I'm not interested in what you have to say or, you know, receive the message and move on is very important. 
and also understanding that you know when you find a way um, to talk to yourself in a way that you would to your child you know who you love very much or to your best friend and if you think about it you would speak that way to somebody you love and care for very often when I ask that uh, of people they say no I would never talk that way to anybody in my life so why is that okay to talk to yourself that way so remember that uh, you know the way you speak to yourself is how you see yourself and how you show up so being uplifting to yourself especially in the times when we use can influence a lot of things they can influence the uh, they can influence the the water you know there's been lots of experiments with the water where uh, in, in, I think it started in Japan uh, a Japanese scientist has done this I forgot his name where he took the water he took a jar of water uh, and a second jar and one jar was talked to in very mean um, and, and uh, words and no love and no good feelings and the other jar was used to um, kind of give it uh, you know talk to to it with the words of love and joy and happiness and after the experiment uh, in about two or three days the water that um, had very you know, negative words in it was the water that started getting cloudy and started um, like rotting and started showing up in some very uh, weird things in it you know even though it was clear water and the water that got a lot of love um, literally had flowers and sort of had the kind of the sunshine reflected in it and the love reflected in it and I find that it's fascinating how the words carry energy and that's something that we all um, you know might want to remember not should because I don't like the word should uh, but it's great to remember that the words carry energy and that's the whole point uh, of my video today is the words that you use every day pay attention to those words a lot of the times we use the words that um, uh, correct connect to the symptoms so for example you know I feel suffocated by this right and it's literally bringing up a symptom like a feeling of being physically suffocated so when you use those words or I feel you know this makes me feel nauseous so why do we need to use the speech that creates a physical symptom of not being okay, of not being physically okay? A lot of those words in different languages, you know, uh, in, in Russian there's a lot of those words that are used to describe how we feel about something. And a lot of them are connected, or the expressions, they're all connected to a physical symptom. And what I realized is the more we use those words, it's like we give a signal to our body to feel a certain symptom about something so when you use um, certain expressions and sometimes they're funny expressions think about how those might affect you and are they expanding inspiring uplifting or are they something that diminish block and limit and when you speak every day start noticing what verbs you use are they the word the word the words and the verbs that help you step up inspire be you live the best life or that are they the words and the verbs that diminish you uh, you know I'm able I have I love I live I am I create I get to those are all inspiring verbs and those are the words uh, that I use to create action in my life and I truly recommend that you use those words to inspire yourself and to create uh, the best life and the words that make you feel less than you know when you say you know I should I'm not I can't I'm not able to I don't have a choice think about that feeling that they create and be more mindful so that you can create a different reality and remind yourself that you always have a choice and changing your perspective and noticing how you talk to yourself and how you relate to life is what creates your reality. So I'm hoping that you'll be inspired uh, by this to maybe create the word of the day and also 
use the words that inspire you and uplift you and help you expand in your life to where you see many, many possibilities. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.